What up, green kitties? What up, y'all? What up, y'all? Happy Halloween, y'all. Happy Halloween. How are you guys doing? You know, I'm tired as hell, y'all. I don't know. These past couple of days, I have not been sleeping good at all at night. Usually, I don't have a problem going to sleep at night. Not a problem. I, oh, sorry, y'all. I'm holding this phone. Usually, I don't have a problem going to sleep at night. But for like three days, it seemed like I can't go to sleep until in the morning. You know, I don't know why. But I would say I'm not centered with God or something. But no, I've been listening to my word. You know, this morning before I left the house, I heard a great word from T.D. Jakes. Um, I've been on him. Well, I've been on any, everybody lately. But I've been on him a little bit. Um, he was talking about David and the Goliaths. Like, you know, all of that good stuff. But anyway, um, I just wanted to say happy Halloween to you guys or whatever. If you don't celebrate it, just whatever. Happy holiday. However, whatever fuck. However you try to word it, whatever. Um, I just left Walmart. I'm now at Burger King. Um, the kids want to have lunch. It's 2.30. Um, Juju stayed with Cedric. He doesn't really feel so well. I told you guys when he don't have his medicine, he be like not trying to do nothing. Because he don't want to have no seizures, driving, or any of that. So he's at home. And I had to finish up. That's my little outfit. I got all black on. Black shirt, black pants, and my little gold tennis shoes to go with my gold shirt. Okay? And I still got this ugly-ass cap on, y'all. But, um... Thank you, daughter. She said it's pretty. So, I just got Zariah and Amir with me. And we went to Walmart to get a couple of items to finish everything up for us, the costumes. Also, I got those potato wedges. I told you guys I've been on potato wedges. I've been able to eat potato wedges. So, I've been eating them. Um, and then I got my husband some more ranch chicken, okay? Leave us alone, okay? Why not chicken? Um, so that's that. But I got on here, y'all, because I wanted to say something. And y'all tell me. Y'all leave me in the comments down below what y'all think about it, okay? Hold on, y'all. I got, I So, um, I put something on Facebook. I really don't fuck with Facebook anymore. Um, I, I, I just don't. Not right now. I kind of put everything on hold on Facebook. But I said, you know what? Let me just throw this out here. Because I just want to see what people reaction would be. Y'all know. I like ruffling fe feathers sometimes. So... I dressed my daughter up and I right and then I put it on Facebook and I said Cardi B. She wanna be Cardi B for uh for Halloween, right? Now mind you, it's not the truth. I have her real costume. You guys know that I told you guys yesterday. Um that she was gonna be a um she was gonna be a mermaid not a mermaid, yeah, mermaid. But her costume was a little too tight and I wanted her to be comfortable. So I ended up going and getting her um some character from coco that cartoon you guys some cartoon from coco or whatever right so hold on y'all okay fuck it i hate just taking all these 20s out hold on y'all never mind i ain't got time for all that listen be ready to get your drinks when okay. i when i pass them to you throw them throw it i'm here throw it out the window come on hold on y'all y'all know where i'm at getting food okay i'm always getting food but we i haven't ate all day i'm so goddamn hungry it's not funny but anyway um so you guys know i already i already got her a costume which is kid appropriate from um you know period i'm kid appropriate period y'all know that um but anyway so let me just see what people will would say right and you know I got so many comments and phone calls like, oh, my God, this, that, and the third. Now, this is the thing. When I was younger, right, I was never big into costumes, okay? Um, I always wanted, I was into music and stuff. So, about maybe 12 years old, when I really started getting into costumes, um, I'm, I would be Aaliyah. I was Erica Badu at some point in my teenage life. And, you know, many other um, singers, right? So, nowadays, they don't have that. They don't have those type of people. 
right and the reason why they don't have those type of people is because us as a community us people don't support those type of people you understand what i'm saying india Ari came out with a beautiful love song it was it's her and david banner david banner's not i don't think he's doing anything on it i think he's just like the man um it's called you give me oh so much love and some shit like that and it's really really nice y'all and they ain't played it at the fucking awards that just came up. None of that. So, when, so to me, I feel like if you feel like our children should not wear the culture or what's wearing what they're listening to or what you're listening to in your car, then we should maybe start promoting. Because they're getting paid. Uh, Megan, The Stallion, Cardi B, they can't be number one without us. Okay? Period. Um, and I know people won't say, well, we're adults. We can hear it. But... Erica Badu was an adult, and kids could listen to her. It's other artists that are adults that kids can listen to that's appropriate, but we're not pushing them up. So don't get mad because y'all motherfuckers is not leaving my daughter no motherfucking room to be able to dress like anybody else because y'all not, y'all not giving them number ones. Period. Y'all giving them, um, you know, where they not even invited to the virtual shit hold on y'all can i have sweet and sour ketchup and um mayo it's just extra uh who hold on y'all who you did all right hold on y'all hold on y'all okay can i have an extra bag of napkins lots of napkins thank you hold on y'all hold on y'all I'm getting food. So, now mind you, I, let me show y'all this. One dollar, y'all. And it's a frozy Coke. Let me see yours, Araya. Okay, I'm gonna show you. And this is a, a, a Fanta strawberry frozen. That's they, that's they shit. Y'all know I know all the little good snacks and goodies. Sorry, y'all, my life. But anyway. Um, now, but y'all know, I'm not, I'm saying this to say this, which is, I would never let my daughter go out the house looking like that, number one. You know what I'm saying? I don't promote early sex. I don't promote, you know what I'm saying, little girls dressing like adults. I don't play none of that. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who knows me knows me. And I think, y'all, we cousins, y'all already know. Um, you know what I'm saying? How I feel about that. But I wanted to see how, I'm, sorry y'all, I'm sorry I look like this, the way I'm facing but I wanted to see the reaction of fucking people. Like, you know, damn if you do and damn if you don't. It's like, y'all know motherfucking well that when I seen the virtual goddamn hip hop awards, I didn't see no NDIRE. I didn't see no bitch close to NDIRE. I didn't see no motherfucking Lauren Hills. I didn't even see a Marsha Abroja on that motherfucker. Okay, I barely see Fantasia and uh, Keisha Cole. Y'all did that. Not motherfucking me. So don't get mad that when I'm playing sometimes uh, Megan Thee Stallion and sometimes Cardi B and my daughter seems to like the fucking lyrics because I didn't promote these bitches so much. You know what I'm saying? Promoted they motherfucking ass so motherfucking much that in the IRE song, people probably never heard of the shit, number one. And my daughter don't know who to dress up like. She dresses up like, who is she here? Not saying that she is or she did. I'm just saying... We have to, we're going to be caught, um, conscious. We need to be conscious about every motherfucking thing. Can I have an extra bag? Oh, yeah. We need to be conscious about every motherfucking thing, okay? And there you go. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Uh huh. We need to be conscious about every motherfucking thing. Every motherfucking thing, okay? Start promoting more people. You know what I'm saying? When NDRE shit come out, you know, make her shit number one. You know what I'm saying? Um, when Marsha Broja shit come out, make her number one. We have the motherfucking power in our motherfucking fingers. We got a power in our hands. But we choose not to use the power with our hands unless it's, let somebody do some, you know, some shit. And then y'all motherfuckers want to talk about some shit. No, you're not going to talk to me about a motherfucking thing, okay? That's what you're not going to do on my motherfucking uh, YouTube or Facebook, okay? Now, I ain't went off on them yet because I did an experiment. I'm going to go off on them tonight. Because when I get my daughter dressed really in the kid-appropriate outfit, then I'll make my point. 
you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to see how many people would have riled up and been so motherfucking crazy. Hold on one second, Zariah. I know you want your food. You know what I'm saying? And y'all let me know in the comments down below, what do y'all think about that? Like, you know, it was easy for me to dress up with, like, um, people I was listening to. Even though Aaliyah, maybe at that time, was very, uh, you know, shit. She was married to motherfucking R. Kelly, you feel me? So when I was singing AJ nothing by the number, I was really just saying it. I wasn't, I didn't really mean that what well, well, I was saying, you feel me? So, but her appearance and what she dressed like and how she dressed, my mother was okay with me swooping my little, getting my weave, swooping that up. And, you know, wearing my belly out because I had some baggy pants on. Same thing with Erica Badu. I was able to wear that, you know, wear those those Jamaican things and wrap my hair up. So it was easy to dress like these people because these people was appropriate. You understand? But they were appropriate and they were cool for me to, 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 to you know, be, on, be them on Halloween because I was listening to them. I can't make her dress like no motherfucking uh, Fantasia, Fantasia, and we ain't putting up her records, or we ain't, you guys, if we're not uh, making her uh, pop, I'm just saying, you guys, we gotta really either figure this shit out, don't leave me alone, leave me the fuck alone. Because this bitch is buying a billion Birkin bags, her name, all type of shit, and we're helping that, but then, then when our daughters want to be it, I'm wrong for dressing her like it. Excuse me? You promoted this bitch to be number one, uh, t uh, her and Nicki Minaj. My daughter don't like uh, 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 R&B. She's a, you know, she like rap. Y'all didn't promote motherfucking Remy Ma when Remy Ma wasn't coming like that. Ain't nobody promoted Remy Ma. Y'all promoted her one song all the way up. After that, we ain't heard nothing about Remy Ma. Not saying she can't rap because her, even though she got sexy. Now, the bitch was not sexy when she first came out. She wasn't sexy when she got out of prison. This now, Remy have glowed up. She have glowed up, but guess what? She got a baby and got married, and y'all don't give a fuck about her like that. Carly B and got married and got a baby, but, but she's still dressing like a super, super whore. Don't fucking fuck with me about nothing when we promoting this shit. Period. Period. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. You can unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck. That's your business. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Now, I want you to stay, but you don't, again, you don't have to think like me. I'm not saying, you know, you got to think like me. I'm just saying, don't, don't get on this motherfucker fucking with me. So, I'm going to show y'all a picture and what it looked like, y'all. And I know it was a lot. Y'all know I'm extra. It was a lot, but she's not really wearing this. It, she had it on for two seconds. Um, But I wanted to see what people would say. And I got the reaction I wanted. Basically, to tell them, shut the fuck up. Stop promoting people if your kid can't dress like them. Or, or, some, or support the people who your kids can dress like, just like you support the people that your kid can't dress like. Okay, y'all. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now, now leave me alone. Hold on, y'all. I'm busy. Hold on, y'all. Now, of course, I would never let her go out like that, and you know, or anything like that. But I wanted to prove a point, basically. Now, tonight, I'm gonna put this picture. On the side of what she's really going to wear, which is that, you know, that whatever the fuck that lady, that, you guys, that character from Coco is or whatever. But basically what I'm saying the fuck is, you know, I'm tired of us, you know, not liking one thing, but then liking the fucking other. No, stand for something all the way or shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. If you don't want these kids dressing like these motherfucking rappers, then motherfucking big up Remy. If you don't want these motherfuckers, um, you know, but Mulatto, uh, 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 all them other people, uh, Su Sukiana. How the fuck did Sukiana make it before, uh, the brat, the brat girl made it? Uh, I think she called the brat, she, not the, the brat brat, but, uh. She's one of those girls that was on Miami. She could rap. She's called the brat or something. She's taking care of her dead sister's kids. 
if y'all ever watched Hip Hop Miami. It's other rappers who don't have Little Mo. Not a Little Mo, but uh, uh, Lil Mama. Y'all ain't fucked with her since. So don't fucking come and telling me a nothing. Don't come telling me shit. Because all the rappers that are tight, that do got some motherfucking self-respect, you motherfuckers ain't bigging them up. My daughter can't hear them because y'all motherfuckers are so big on Megan Thee Stallion. Uh, okay, Captain Hook and motherfucking Cardi B Wop. Period. Don't fuck with me. Don't don't come on. Don't fuck with me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, y'all. I just had to get that little out real fast. You know what I'm saying? I had to get it out. Because my brother and my daddy going to call me. Which they don't know that I was doing an experiment because it's none of their fucking business. But oh, again, let me speak on this. Fake love. You motherfuckers called me because y'all seen something online y'all did not like about my kid, right? But you the same nigga, I'm talking about my dad. You the same nigga that won't call these kids, won't come see these kids, let your bitch disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? You that same nigga talked about my kids, but then you give a fuck? No, that don't work like that. You don't give a fuck. Scoot along. Scoot the fuck along. My brother, you got your your little your daughters go whole cheerily. You didn't ask my daughter one time did she want to go. Where the fuck do they do that at? Scoot along, run around somewhere. Go go do what you gotta do. Leave me the, don't call me. Please don't call me. Asking me nothing about mine. Mind your motherfucking business. Continue carry on. As a motherfucking Kevin Gates say, carry the fuck on like you been carrying on. Carry on. Carry the fucking on. I got this and I got her and I got them. Like, I've been having them. Fuck out of here. What do you mean? I am the girl. I am the woman. I know what the fuck, what's too much for my daughter and what's not. But at the same time, I had to prove a motherfucking point. I'm a point prover. God damn it. <laughs> Calling my phone. Oh my God. Can you take that off? Um, are you the same nigga that didn't invite my daughter to see not one of your daughters cheer or see if she wanted to get on a motherfucking cheering squad? Are you the same motherfucking brother who I spent all this money on and didn't even have your bitch thank me? Like, are you that same nigga? Because I, I don't understand how you can know respect in one area and don't know it in the other. Because I know it in all forms, okay? Unacceptable. Unmotherfucking acceptable. I blocked his ass. I tried to block him off my Facebook, but I blocked him off my pictures. Now you can't see it. Go sit your ass down. You're in timeout. You're in fucking timeout. Don't come, don't come out timeout talking to me about nothing. Number one, number two, and number motherfucking three. Then the third motherfucking thing, uh, before I get up off of here, and I'm going to get, I'll give another video, and it's going to be way nicer than this one. But, what did I say? But I had to, like, you feel me, vent before it got too late. Because, you know, I don't stay angry long, y'all, because the spirit is in me, okay? The good spirit is in me, and I don't stay angry long, so I had to get this off real quick. And then retreat, retreat. I'm retreating back to, you know, my niceness. But, yeah, my daddy like, please, please, please. Oh, you give a fuck about little girls now? Because you didn't give a fuck about me, my sister, and your damn sure don't give a fuck about your granddaughter. You don't try to be a consistent grandfather in her life. Get the fuck away from it. The thing about it is y'all just don't want nobody else to see it. Because y'all fake. Y'all don't know how to live in y'all motherfucking truth. See, I do. I can stand on what I put out there. And any motherfucker who want to debate me can. It's fire with this tongue, baby. And when they took all my teeth out, it gave me more motherfucking uh, room to cuss you motherfuckers out. Because the teeth was blocking my cuss words. Don't fuck with me. Period. Now, leave me in the comments down below if y'all agree with anything I said. If you did or you didn't, I still like to know. And have a beautiful Halloween day, y'all. And um, I'm finna eat, and I'll get back on here with another video, y'all. A better video, but I had to get that off. And if you punk motherfuckers is watching, make sure you subscribe, because it don't cost your bitch ass nothing. Okay, so make sure you subscribe. And if you are watching, you can, all y'all can kiss my black no-having ass.
Matter of fact, kiss my back too. So I know you make sure you kiss every goddamn part of my ass. Bye.